Oh, this smells so good. This is a delicious man. He got a great credit score. He goes to the gym. He goes to the barber, like, regularly. This is my scent. I'm gonna be smelling of a lot of things by the time we're done. But the lost cherry. <laughs> Wait, I just read it in my mouth. I had to do that. I haven't had this smell in a long time. It's bringing memories back. It's bringing date night memories that I don't want to remember. Oh my god. Hey babes, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kimberly. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. From the title, you can see that this video is all about smelling good. If you wanna smell good but on a budget, you're in the right place. If you wanna smell good, like your favorite designer fragrance but not spend the designer cost, then you're definitely in the right place. The sponsor for today's video is Dossier. Huge shout outs to Dossier for sponsoring us. Dossier is one of my favorite perfume houses. Guys, fragrances nowadays, like when you think of the big names, you're really paying for the brand name. If we're being completely honest, the cost is crazy. Like 100, 200, 300, some fragrances are even in the 500s. And in this economy, we're really trying to save. So anything that I can save on, I'm definitely saving on it. Asia is a perfume house that makes fragrances accessible to everybody. Like everyone should have the right to smell good. And I love that that's where they based their brand off and Dacia is a perfume house that is located in France, the perfume capital of the world if you didn't know. What I love about Dacia is that they have studied all these high-end fragrances and then they have come up with their own impressions of them. So there is no markup, you're just paying for the fragrance, you're not paying for like an expensive bottle, you're not paying for any extra celebrity endorsements, any extra ads, you're literally paying for the fragrance. Every fragrance that I've tried, their impression is exactly that. I can't really tell the difference between it and like an original fragrance. I have a few fragrances here to share with you today and I did pick some that I'm familiar with so I can stand on it. Whatever fragrance I do review from Dossier, I always tell you guys like, okay, I have smelled the original or I own the original and I can stand on it. I can tell you that it smells exactly like it. I'm not playing. I'm not about to tell y'all about something that isn't, isn't it. I have my box here for this month and so because it's the fall season I picked some fragrances that's perfect for the transition in weather and also I re-upped on a fragrance that is a favorite of mine. The very first one. Oh my gosh guys most importantly I forgot to tell you that the prices for the dossier fragrances they range from the 20s 30s to I think 40s that's like the highest price that they have on their website for these fragrances compared to, you know, the hundreds, 200s, 300s, and even 400s for the original fragrances. These impressions, worth the coins, definitely. My first fragrance that I want to show you guys is the Ambery Cherry. This is how your fragrance would come. And guys, because I'm very familiar with Dossier, I... Kept them in the box just so if you've never seen them before you can see Ambery Cherry is Dossier's impression of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I can tell you without opening the box because it's my favorite. I have one upstairs. I'm going to grab it so I can show you that it's almost empty. And I needed to re-up for the fall because the cherry fragrances they be hitting. And that the Tom Ford version, the original, honestly the pricing point on it I can't justify buying it and it's not last like cherry fragrances don't last long they they're not like a let me see they're not like a 12 hour wear perfume for cherry fragrances and I've tried many different brands just to get like a cherry fragrance that I could say okay boom the Tom Ford that's the best one that I found but still it wasn't lasting more than like six hours it, it doesn't last long and I think it's because of the cherry scent as to why no one can unlock a version that's like lasting forever but i don't mind actually buying the dossier impression because the price that i pay for it compared to buying the you know the tom ford bottle i could buy several of these and it'll still be the same effect and i just re-up on my spring so this is the card that comes in the box you guys can see it's the Ambery Cherry and it does tell you who the fragrance is inspired by. It gives you the notes and this is inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry as I said before. All the notes that you that are 
key to the Tom Ford Lost Cherry is in this. And this is our bottle. Very nice and clean and aesthetically pleasing. And for the price that you pay, I love the bottle. I have no complaints. I get the fragrance without the expensive fee. And I don't even need to spray this, guys, because this is my scent. This is my scent. I love me some cherry, and I use this a lot during the fall. Let me just spray it here. As you can see, when you spray, beautiful. Oh, do you see that? Oh. Ah. This is my girl. Oh, my gosh. I love this. I feel like I've wasted that. This is my scent. I'm going to be smelling of a lot of things by the time we're done. But the Lost Cherry. <laughs> Wait, I just read it in my mouth. I had to do that every time. The Lost Cherry is in my eyes. Is it. It's spot on. Ambery Cherry is your girl. If you want a cherry fragrance that's going to last, the Ambery Cherry is tea. And I do pair this with um, Dossier's Impression of Baccarat Rouge. That's their ambery saffron that's how you know i'll be using these uh, ambery cherry and ambery saffron beautiful like you smell delicious expensive and all that i wore this guys when i went to miami when i had my surgery and the day after surgery i was feeling so horrible and i couldn't take a shower i had to like wipe myself with it like a cloth i wore this and when the doctor came in he was just like this smells so good in here like what's that and I'm like, oh, it's me. And he's like, he came over and he's like, oh, yeah, it's you. He's like, you smell really nice. And I'm just like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is the second box that I have. Uh, oh, guys, Dossier does have male and female fragrances. So if you have like a boo, a husband, a brother, a son, then you can get him an impression of whatever fragrance that he likes also guys they have their own their own original scents which you can check up on their website this is citrus ginger and this is inspired by chanel blue listen i know what chanel blue smells like is is that it was that scent you know, it's, it was in a lot of rap songs. What did Jay-Z, what did he say? She's smelling my neck, that Chanel blue. <laughs> yeah, this, this smells just, I'm not gonna put it on my body because it's a male fragrance, but this smells just like it. And that's the reason why I chose this too, because it smells real good. And y'all already know, I'm getting my son all the fragrances. So when he go to school, when he pop out, he smells really, really good. This smells exactly like Chanel Blue. Guys, I opened it before coming on here and I did give it to my son to smell. And he's like, this smells familiar. And and he was spraying himself and he's like, I know this smell. And then I'm just like, it's Chanel Blue. He's like, oh yeah, okay. Because I did buy him a Chanel Blue previously so we know what it smells like. It's spot on. Top notes, peppermint, lemon, ginger. Vetiver, pink pepper, nutmeg, sandalwood, incense, cedarwood. A delicious man. That's all you want to know. Oh, that smells so good. This is a delicious man. He got a great credit score. He goes to the gym. He goes to the barber, like, regularly. Yeah, yeah. And he washes his clothes with fabric softener. Okay, this is good. This is really good. If you got a boo... A father, a brother, a son, whoever, and you want to try fragrances out. Like, these are great for gifting, and I love the price. I can't get over the price. These are all the scents that you can think of. All the high-end scents, the designer quality without the markup, without the 300 200 100 price tag. We're saving money here. And I'm definitely going to get a few of these to gift for the holiday. I love how it comes in the packaging. Like, this is real nice. I'm going to get my dad. One of these, like for real. Next scent is fruity brown sugar. And who can guess what this fragrance is? Hold on. Fruity brown sugar. What fragrance do you smell that smells fruity and like brown sugar? Think about it. <laughs> okay, so this fragrance is inspired by YSL Mon Paris. Listen, Mon Paris was that girl. When I used to live in New York, 
and I was getting into fragrances, I got Mon Pari, and oh my god, I used to smell so good, especially when I used to go out at like nighttime and stuff, I would spray this, and I, I used to smell really delicious, okay? Let me spray it. And I don't have Mon Pari right now in my house, but I have had it before, and it was such a beautiful scent. I'm just like, why not get the Dossier version? Like, it's a good time to re-up. And these smells, the, these scents that I chose, they're good in like cooler weather, winter time. Like, I used to use these scents when it was fall, going into winter, when I was living in New York. I'm trying to not confuse my nose. Hold on. Ah, it does smell like Monfrey. Oh my god, I haven't had this smell in a long time. It's bringing memories back. It's bringing date night memories that I don't want to remember. Oh my god, <laughs> guys, it's giving me memories that I don't want to remember. But yeah, this uh, we had a time. We had a time. So the notes in this are bergamot, raspberry, pear, jasmine, orange blossom, brown sugar, patchouli, amber, vanilla. All pretty smells. Like this smells super sweet. This is something like a gourmand type fragrance. I mean, it's called fruity brown sugar. It definitely smells sweet, girly, pretty. It's giving feminine energy. I have the cherry on me, but I don't care, y'all. I smell like a lot of it. Ugh, it smells so good. <laughs> Ooh, and guys, don't be scared to mix your fragrances. I be mixing them, okay? And I just go upstairs and play my fragrances. This smells good. And I feel like it smells good with the cherry. Like, I smell nice. I don't know. Okay, let's move on to the next fragrance. But this is, this is tea, baby. This is pretty. You a pretty girl? Yeah. I feel like this is giving icy girl, icy girl, sweetie type of vibe. And I don't know what sweetie smells like, but I feel like it's giving icy girl. And why these fragrances are good in like the cooler temperatures, they smell so nice. And maybe it's just my mind, but when it's cooler, your scent lingers more and people smell you versus when it's hot and muggy. When it's cooler, it sticks to your skin and people like the fragrance, is in the air when I, when I spray my fragrances when it's cooler. Last fragrance that we got, and don't leave yet because we have a diffuser, because they have room diffusers, diffusers y'all, and candles, like that's T2. The last fragrance is one that I already have. I have it upstairs, but I had to get it because it's one of those scents, again, that you rotate during the colder months. And guys, these scents are oldies, but goodies. I know a lot of new fragrances come out, but these are scents that never miss. The Mont Pari right now on my skin, y'all. I wish you could smell me. Oh my God, I smell so good. Anyways, this is Amber Vanilla, and she is inspired by YSL Black Opium, or to perform Black Opium is another girl that smells good all the time. Like Black Opium, for me, never misses. I love Black Opium, and I love Mont Pari. I love those scents. And of course, this is our bottle. So nice and simplistic and clean. Love that. I mean, we're paying for our fragrance, not for the excessive packaging or the bottles. We're paying for the actual scent. So I love that. And this has mandarin, pear, pink pepper, licorice. I, I feel like, mm -mm, ignore that one. Jasmine, orange blossom, and, and girls. Like orange blossom and fragrance is you already know it smells pretty once it has orange blossom but truly vanilla cedarwood coffee yum yum just yum and i'm not gonna spray this on my body because i feel like my body is confused right now we have so many things going on yeah yeah if you're a vanilla girl yeah i wish y'all could smell it i don't want to Oh, just a, wait, just a little bit right here. Just a little. Oh, hold on. And my hair is sticking to my body oil. But like just a little, even though we already have stuff on. Oh gosh. Come get me, please. 
so good. Their packaging is just like so aesthetically pleasing. You can't complain. Look at this. Give yourself a room to breathe in. Just like how the perfume bottles are very clean and minimalistic, that's how the diffuser is as well. I've had their diffusers before in the floral marshmallow scent. This one is woody sandalwood and this is supposed to be inspired by the Le labels, the label, the label, the label. The label. This is a bottle, super nice. And then the, these go in. Love it. My light is a little bright, guys. I apologize. And this is Woody Santal. I think my living room is about to smell really good right now. I want to open it without opening it, without causing a mess. Ciao. Friends, it's giving luxury. It's giving hotel. It literally smells like the Santal. And this is their Woody Sandalwood. Sandalwood, sandalwood on its own is a beautiful scent to have in your house. Ugh. And this has musk in it, amber, cedarwood. Usually when I have my diffuser, I would get like sandalwood oil and I would mix it with cedarwood and it gives that woody scent but that luxury scent that you get when you go into like real luxury places oh my gosh this is good this is really good and i'm about to figure out where i'm gonna put it i might put it over there on my coffee t on my coffee table book <laughs> so when you come in here it smells expensive look good feel good smell good smell good is important not just you but your house yeah we're, we're we're here for this um guys if you are interested in any of these scents then definitely check out the description box below for the link to dossier's website they have a lot of other impressions whatever name brand fragrance quote unquote name brand fragrance you can think of definitely give their website a visit and search you will find one of them or something inspired and also they you can reach out to them for suggestions on fragrances that they should create or try to make an impression an impression for if they don't already have it they do have male female and unisex fragrances which is great and they have all the top names ysl Sam Ford, the works. Do you see my fireplace being a hater right now? What is this ad? Oh. And she's back. <laughs> don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe, most importantly. And if you check out any of these dossier fragrances, then definitely let me know in the description box what your um, experience was with them for me. Almost every single fragrance that I've tried, I have loved. I've had like one or two that I didn't really love, but of course you have the option, return it. And no questions to ask. But definitely give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shout outs to Dossier again for sponsoring us. Catch you guys in my next one. Bye.